Welcome back to an episode of War of the Visions. Uh, hopefully, we can get a winning streak going. Uh, and we run into what I'm most afraid of right away. Hopefully, it's not Zazan 2B. Uh, that's kind of really annoying, Zazan plus 2B. I mean, it's kind of I, I kind of deserve it because I'm running uh, I'm running Evade, so I kind of deserve the BS that comes along with running Evade. Um, I gave I swapped out my Fenrir for uh, I swapped out my Fenrir for uh, Golem, just because some of these uh, Ketone abilities are uh, some of Ketone's abilities are not slash, so I'm not running Gol uh, not running uh, Odin, but I'm sure if I ran Odin, I probably can hit a lot harder. Anyways, uh, I guess we're gonna run over here. Gonna revitalize here. Give you guys the shield there. Come here with the Utsusemi. Uh, I don't think 2B has the ability to jump through the wall, so I'll probably just face that way. Uh, Shoma has a Soma has a guaranteed hit attack, so I gotta watch out for Soma. 2B, because of her insane luck, also has the possibility of hitting me, so I have to watch out for her. Uh, Titus doesn't particularly have the ability to hit me, so I'm not all that worried about Titus. Uh, it's just a matter of whether or not my opponent runs a, uh, what kind of comp she's running, whether or not she's running a, uh, evade version. Uh, luckily Titus is running Paladin, so I'm not worried about Illusion here. I'm hoping I can actually go. Okay, well, two B runs illusion, so yeah. Okay, I mean, I guess that's how it's gonna be, which is fine. Um, just gonna charm you, and uh, you're just gonna keep buffing until I get close, and then you're gonna all out attack me, huh? I'm gonna see if I can charm him. Let's see what the heck he's running. I think that's Helena. Okay. I kind of wanted to cast Illusion on Ketong, but uh, can't really reach, so that kind of sucks. And you found me directly where I can't hit you. So there's that. Uh, if I grab this crystal, I'm running a lot of risk here. On the other hand, my ketone's gonna be using Uta Semi Shadow either way. So fine. Uh, I don't expect Soma's unavailable pain to do anything to my ketone, considering she has something like 80 or 90. Uh, but if this hits me, I'll die. My ketone has like 80 or 90 unit, well, not 80 or 90, more like 50 or 60 single unit evade, or single unit, um, just like, ah, uh, crap ton of single unit resist, so, uh, and magic resist on top of that, so, uh, the unavoidable pain from a earth unit is not, a lightning unit is not gonna do anything, particularly because I also have a, like, dirty, lightning resist too, so Silma is probably not going to do anything to my Ketong realistically. Uh, the plan here, the lockdown plan here is I'm going to charm Titus uh, into a stop on the uh, stop on the 2B and charm the Titus and then just straight up kill the Silma. Uh, looks like sh freaking 2B gets a second Okay, it did do some damage. 
Looks like 2B gets a second chance to hit me. Uh, I'm quite worried that it'll kill my, uh, that it might kill her here. But yeah. Well, at least now 2B is probably completely out of AP. So, I don't really have to worry about her. Titus probably has like a 70% chance of being charmed. Like I said, 70% chance of being charmed. Uh, you walked right into my range. Can I hit you? 33% chance of hitting you. I think my Ketone probably can take it from there if I can actually hit her. Unit resist down. I'll let Titus and Silma figure it out. Uh, my priority here is to actually stop her. Looks like I was able to hit. pretty insane that uh, Shadow Links with her ability has the same uh, has the same chance to stop as Saiga Shadow Buying. So like my Shadow Links' stop I think was like 66. Actually I think Saiga Shadow Buying was like 98. Yeah that's great. Uh, Too bad I don't have Terra Slash. Deliberating Fist. So just kill her right here. Uh, Titus probably has height problems. Not sure I want to go there, but okay. Opponent has left. GG. I wanted to, um,. Go over by the other two, but I was worried I'm gonna get hit by Taunting Blade. Basically, still got PTSD from that time that one, uh, the one Zazan hit me with the Taunting Blade and killed, uh, both my page units. That was really awkward. <sighs> 2B is one of the people that I really don't want to fight against. The other one is, like, any of the cost 100s are really annoying to fight. Particularly King Mont, uh, King Mon and Helena, their status resistance are uh, through the roof. They're resistant to like charm, stop, all that crap. So it's actually very annoying fighting the two of them, especially Helena. Helena, I really can't do anything against. I just have to straight up kill her because uh, the last couple of ones I ran into was like resistant to stop, resistant to uh, stop charm and paralyzed. It's like, shit, I can't really do anything about that. Yeah, I'm gonna use shadow cast anyway, so I don't... Uh, on the other hand. Ah, freaking hell. I should have moved her on the other side so I can purify both of them and grab this crystal right here. Semi. Uh, the way the lockdown is gonna work here is uh, stop on, stop on IS Charm Titus stop uh, stop Mont. I'm not sure if 9S is immune to Charm. I know 2B is. Uh, I don't know if that's just like a robot thing. <sighs> But like, since EX error or since uh, near, um, everybody's freaking, everybody and their mother is immune to charm, so that's kind of really bad for me. I should be able to jump on the crystal and then stop the uh, nine S. I get rock thrown through the freaking wall, aren't I? Okay, he didn't use rock throw on me, which is weird. He also didn't use uh, courage. I figured that would be the other thing he would use. Do I get another turn on the Titus if I? Nope. 
Okay, in that case, shadow cast. Oh, well, I can just get in range to hit you exactly. So, this should. Yup, 86% chance to stop. That's a rip right there. 98, 96. It's just a matter of who I think is a bigger threat, Titus or uh. I really should stop Titus instead, cause I don't think 9S has the damage potential to actually kill me. Also, I probably shouldn't expose my back. Well, it's fine. I can charm the Titus if he kills my ketone. And Titus, since he's susceptible to stop, I can always hit him with a stop off of the nine, off of the, uh, off of the shadow links. If it comes to that, I mean, it doesn't come to that. My ketone, considering she doesn't have any evade, will actually get hit really hard. Uh, I'm surprised she's not going for ketone, considering he just grabbed the back attack. Anyways. And I think that's gonna be a rage quit. On the other hand, uh... Considering the dirty BS that I'm playing, I wouldn't be surprised if my opponent's rage quit. Let's see how much this Drain Force will hit for. Well, actually, first... I'm surprised it hits him for less, considering there's weakness involved. Okay, 9 I should go down here. Okay, or not. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's see if I can grab him with the uh, shadow buying. Opponent is left. Yeah, basically, uh, he rage quit a lot. I was like, I'm expecting a rage quit at that point, and it's a lot like it was a lot. That rage quit happened a lot later than I expected. On the other hand, uh. Considering I'm playing this type of BS, I, I deserve whatever the hell happens to me. Like if I run into <laughs> if I run into like really nasty BS or random or random RNG screws me, it's like I deserve it. This this, this type of build is super toxic. Oh there we go. Uh I was wondering when I was gonna run into him. Uh the way this fight goes is um I need to dodge Kitong's ultimate, and then from there I should be able to uh, charm her and then have her stop the Zazan. Uh, problem with Zazan, incredibly resistant to freaking everything. Basically. Uh, problem with fighting Zazan is he's resistant to everything. It's also, uh, Zazan is not very susceptible to, uh, stop, or, uh, another person that's not very susceptible to stop or, uh, or paralyze, so there's that. Uh, I think with Utsusemi out, I should be completely immune to, or I should have full evade at this point. Uh, my opponent, Kitong, might be running some kind of, like, uh, let's see what they're running, probably full earth. Solitary Lion, uh, Helena. Can't even check out the card. Yeah, Solitary Lion, Helena, Secrets of the Heart. Uh, what are you looking at here? Uh, resist to all that crap. Okay. Now, resistant to charm. Do you have the no time skill on? That's the question. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, I'm gonna run over there and stop the ketone. Uh, ooh, okay. 
that's really good that he's running right at me. It saves me the issue of running at him uh, for the charm. Not to mention, ouch. You gotta be shitting me. I just missed an 80 something percent chance to charm. Ugh. Sixty something percent chance of stopping you. I don't have any chance of hitting her. Uh, I probably should have hit him from behind. Good thing I didn't miss, but still. <sighs> Unfortunately, because of that, I don't have my uh, stop on her. I also need to check whether or not that Zazan had did uh, the re res. Earth up. Resistance to charm, 20%. I'm gonna see if this Katone moves at all. Don't think I'm. I think I'm out of range for her stop. Uh. But. Freaking. Hopefully she stops right there. My, uh. Jiza doesn't have the capability of using, uh. My Jesus doesn't have the capability of doing, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, healing. Actually, she does. She can chakra, but <sighs> minus 50% healing, I don't think chakra is going to do shit here. Hoping I can run right up and just charm her. But, like, I missed an 80, I missed an 80% charm. It's like, shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, probably can't really hit her. I'm going to have to... Uh, find a different way of hitting her. Should be able to charm her. Wonder if I can charm her through the wall. Let's see if I can catch these confuse here. Nice, I caught the confuse. And now my Caesar might be susceptible to an attack. Oh, okay, there's the Saga Shadow Bind. Is she able to actually hit me from up front? She did. And she caught the stop. Rip. That's not good. Okay. Uh, that was your big... That was your main thing on the, uh... Ketong. What the hell? She got to move again? Oh, that's not good. That's basically GG. Uh, like I said, I'm running this kind of BS, it really, whatever the hell happens to me, I kind of deserve it. Make sure I can get some blind off on him. Or I could have used Illusion, but I wasn't expecting the Ketone to move twice. Also, does she have no CT on? Damn it. Don't get a chance to check. I'm not sure if like he has re res or not. Okay, he doesn't. Which helps out a lot. Hopefully, the confuse will take care of uh, the her. It's still anybody's game here. 
Uh, hoping the confuse will help me with the attack here. Oh my gosh. Just forcing me to straight up kill you, basically. Uh, now you'll probably have to kill my Ketong. I mean, you can go for Shadow Links as well, I don't mind. But if you don't kill my Ketone, I'm gonna Drain Force her and kill her. So, your choice. I'm just really surprised that he's got the, uh, his Ketone so damn fast. Actually, I have this ability. What are my chances of hitting her? 40 something? Alright. Nice. That's a GG right there. Because you're going to hit me, I'm going to Night Veil and kill both of you. Freaking Shadow Links 1v3, man. Good game. Oh. Holy crap. Like I said, I deserve whatever bullshit happened to me for playing this kind of toxic build. But yes, holy crap. Crap, that was a close one. Oh, that was a lot closer than it needed to be. The uh, missing that 83% charm. Holy shit, that was bad. Oh my gosh, 9B, uh, 2S again. Oh, uh, 2B again. I'm super afraid of 2B because she's highly evasive and not stoppable. So, or not charmable. So it's like, uh. If I miss the if I miss the stop on you, I'm screwed. If I don't miss the thing, I'm screwed. <sighs> and there's Cornwall here too. Well, luckily Cornwall is not like this. Isn't the EX120 Cornwall? If it was, I have a lot bigger issues because Cornwall counters Ketone. Freaking Cornwell, you gotta be kidding me. Evade. Uh, okay, I was expecting uh, Illusion. Well, hopefully, this will help me survive a attack from the Cornwell. Uh, hopefully, it'll help me survive long enough that I can actually hit the, key, hit the 2S with my ultimate, and then once I stop the 2S, I'll be okay. The most important thing here is disabling the Cornwell right away. Uh, so he doesn't kill my ketone. Uh, Silma can kind of do whatever the hell she wants. I mean, I don't see Silma doing any damage to me. Uh, so once Cornwell is dead, or once uh, once Cornwell is disabled, along with um, along with Two uh, B, we'd be okay. Uh, can't reach. Do I have a range 5 ability? I don't. Okay, I guess Shadow Cast it is. Uh, debatable what's better here, Utsusemi or Illusion? Um, considering I'm already maxed Evade, Utsusemi really kind of just pushes me over the top versus if I were to use Illusion, the three turns from the Illusion is probably better. So that being said, I probably should have used Illusion. That being said, uh, I'm going to need to stop her. Luckily, she hasn't ran, um, she didn't use her uh, ability yet. So that's a 100% stop. Uh, she, luckily she's not running Evade, and she didn't use Illusion, uh, so, that's a lockdown right there, uh, I don't think, I don't know if Cornwell is charmable, I think he is, but they're Tetrasilphid, he's kind of running pseudo Evade, but not enough for it to matter, and Cornwell, I believe, uh, Resistant to stop, but you're not immune to charm, so I'm gonna charm you. Or straight up blind you, that works too.
Ouch. The thing with Silma is, uh, I gotta kill Silma before she revives, uh, before she, uh, knocks him out of the charm, basically. 78. I, uh, I can take 78% chance. Dark Haze. Uh, the defense isn't gonna do you much good, buddy. Uh, paralyzing Edge. Straight up hit her with Paralyze, or... Uh, if I just Drain Force her, I think uh, she'll die. There's really no need for me to uh, hit her with the Paralyze. Also, if I were to hit her with Paralyze, my opponent would really Rage Quit, because then you gotta Paralyze into a stop and a Charm. It's like, what are you gonna do that? It's like, what are you gonna do now? Uh, either way, at this point, you're screwed. Uh, doesn't, doesn't have, uh, not having the, that's fine. Oh, I was expecting Tiger Maul to kill him. Okay, the Bring Fist. Thank you for weakening him. And GG. Shadow Tether. Well, luckily we got four in a row. But like I said, running this kind of BS, I deserve any kind of karma that happens. Particularly, look at this, uh, I'm gonna have to fight another evade. <sighs> well, luckily, I think Venera is charmable, so... That's my plan. I'm gonna charm her. Ooh, Dwayne. Let's see what the hell my opponent's running. Uh, I see a bunch of sustenance, uh... Vision cards here. Uh, dexterity up, luck up, slash piercing. Oh my god. Basically, straight up full on dark. Uh, immune to stop. Okay, I'm gonna have to charm Dwayne. Neptune. I think I fought him earlier. I think I fought him maybe like two days ago. I don't remember. Uh, interesting in running, seeing what Venera is immune to. Well, you're immune to slow and kind of resistant to charm. What do you have? Uh, uh, resistant to stop and charm. I may be able to straight up stop the Venera, despite the 30% resistance, which I think Venera is wearing ribbon. Uh, that, I think she's wearing ribbon, that's where she's getting her charm resist from. Am I able to... Uh... Revitalize. Uh, I'll just come back here anyway. Probably not a good idea to go over there, though. Uh, but just in case, illusion. I'm not even gonna go grab that crystal there. Uh, straight up illusion. Probably will come from this direction. Uh, I just have to illusion up and weather an attack, basically. Uh, nothing I can do about that. I have to weather an attack from you guys. Hopefully you guys don't have capped out accuracy. But I can't really tell. Uh, oh, you do have accuracy up. That's not good. Accuracy up from who? Uh, the Helena Vision card? 
Holy shit, they do have the accuracy to hit me. That's not good. Luckily I didn't die, but holy shit. That's another quicken onto the Dwayne. Dwayne's gonna get two chances to kill me. <sighs> Dwayne will be able to hit me from behind or from the side. So I probably should not have uh, moved them there. Jesus just died. Uh, that's rip because I kind of needed Jesus to uh, stop them. Like I said, I deserve the karma that comes with the bullshit that I've been doing. Uh, if I can catch the stop, we have a chance. If we can't catch the stop, it's GG. Uh, missed, but I caught the stop. Okay. Overestimated my evade by moving the two of them together there. Uh... I'm more impressed that he was actually able to hit me, uh, cause at that point I probably had over a hundred evade. So for him to actually be able to hit me with both characters, very impressive. Like, I didn't even see any kind of like accuracy up. I mean, there's accuracy up, but I don't know where that's from. Also, basically, uh, fairly difficult for me to kill all of them. So even though I can stop, even if I can stop the uh, Phoebe, I don't think I'll be able to actually kill her. Nope, immune to paralyze too. Wow, that's uh, yeah. Well, so much for trying to go for a five winning streak. Here, he can just straight up stall me out and win. It makes no difference. Uh, geez, uh, there, um, I already gave her the, uh, illusion. It's just a matter of, like, maybe I shouldn't have walked into the Venera's, uh, the Venera's gunner range. Um, but like I said, I was not expecting my opponent to have that kind of accuracy. Uh, even, even after I use, uh, illusion, I should have had a crap ton of accuracy, or a crap ton of evade. Uh, but the way I should have played that was run the, um, Giza to the other side where the crystal is. Uh, and then just go for a charm on the, uh, go for a charm on one of these, one of these three, and then I might have had a better chance, but yeah, not expecting that to actually hit me. On the other hand, like I said, uh, I deserve all kinds of whatever bullshit happens at that point. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the five win. Ah, uh, so close, so close. Well, we're kind of within reach of top 100, but like I said, I think what's gonna happen is, uh, Overnight, the other players will probably push me back down to roughly 300-ish. And I'll have to try and get another winning streak going uh, to see if I can reach the top 100. Uh, if I can't get any kind of like 7 or 8 plus winning streak going on, or have a day that where uh, I'm 5 wins, I'm ba I basically think uh, top 100 is out of reach. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. The Ultimate G signing out.